All right, David, quick video on how to set up the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's what I'm sending you right here. Some Raspberry Pis have built-in Wi-Fi. This one didn't, so I'm sending you a Wi-Fi adapter to, to allow it to use Wi-Fi. A um, few things to note. You see the ports on here. Here's the USB ports. There's the network port on the side. The only one you need to worry about is the USB port here, which is how it's powered. Now, before you do anything, we have to get this on your Wi-Fi network. In order to do this, we're not going to hook it up to your Victrons yet. We're going to plug it directly into your router so that way you can get on uh, to its configuration. So what we're going to do is walk over to your router and with a normal computer network cable, plug a normal computer network cable in here and then take your, your USB power supply and put it there and plug it in like that. So now we're plugged into power and we're plugged directly into your router. And if you want to see if it's on, you should get a little red light if you take off the cover there to tell, let you know it's on. So right now it's plugged directly into the router with a network cable plugged in the USB port for power. We're going to set that down. Now we're going to take out your smartphone. And on your smartphone, which should be connected to the Wi-Fi network that's broadcast by your router, we're going to open up the Victron app. If you notice now, when you refresh for devices, let's see if I can get this to show, you're going to have, you know, you get your normal charge controllers by Bluetooth that you see there. I think I can make this visible, can I? But now, in addition to your smart controllers, you're going to see Raspberry Pi 2. So it's going to see the Raspberry Pi plugged into your network. So you're going to click it, and it's connect to it over network. And then you're going to see a remote console option. So you're going to click remote console. And then it's going to bring up the browser on your phone. And it's going to tell you you need to hold your phone like that, which is OK. So you hold your phone like that. And in this browser, you can navigate to the settings of the Raspberry Pi. So you're going to want to scroll down to settings and keep scrolling down to Wi-Fi. So there's Wi-Fi and settings. And then it's going to show you all your Wi-Fi networks. And it's a typical select your Wi-Fi network and select and enter your password. And you can do all that through your phone right here while it's plugged directly into your router. Once you set up your, your Wi-Fi, then you're going to unplug. You can, you can shut your phone off or turn your phone off, then you can unplug the Raspberry Pi from power and unplug from your network. And now you can walk over and plug in the Victron adapter cable to the USB and plug this in power next to your charge controllers. And, and when you plug it in that way now, now it should be on your Wi-Fi and you should be able to see the data on your Wi-Fi. That's how you get it set up.